All right, you guys, if the release of Toddlers yesterday was not enough to get you excited for what is in store for The Sims 4 this year, then I hope this newest bit of really awesome news may get you there. So as you guys know, we did have Toddlers yesterday and it came in a big update and hidden in that update seems to be hints within the code that one of the upcoming expansion packs may very well be the long awaited Sims 4 Pets expansion pack. And I'm really Really, 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 really excited for this. I think pretty much everybody knows that Pets would be a really great selling expansion pack. A lot of people are really hoping to see it. Just like Toddlers brought forth a aspect of the game that made the Sim families just feel a lot more rounded out. It really made it feel like the game was more complete. For a lot of people, that's what Pets is. Being able to have a cat or dog really does help most people feel like their home and their family is complete. For some people, that's all you need. And I'm really not anticipating that the pets expansion pack would never be made, but it's more been a matter of a waiting game of when will it be released. I actually thought pets was a guaranteed thing before toddlers could ever even be imagined. And now we have toddlers. So I'm very excited for this year. I have very little idea of what's in store. I only have the same amount of information that all of you guys do. And thankfully, we have amazing people like Zerabu, who has stepped forward again and again from his amazing model modding abilities, dug through the code, especially every month's update code that comes out for The Sims 4, and he has been able to give us hints of things within the code that may tell us about the different game packs, stuff packs, and expansion packs we're going to have. If you guys were paying attention to Zerbu's work last month, then you know that he's actually one of the first ones who discovered that there were different death states and different burning animations. Uh, I think he even managed to like trigger them so that The Sims would go through the burning animation. For vampires. And so before we even had this early teaser, so if you guys know, every single quarter, a fiscal quarter usually runs about three months, by the way, but every single quarter, EA does release a teaser trailer to let you know some of the things that are going to be released and coming up. And this month, a vampire pack is actually coming out. And so that's something that Zerbu found before we even got the teaser trailer, before any news of vampires was even released. He actually was able to give us hints about those things from digging inside of the update codes and showing us what he found. So, after yesterday's toddler update, he ended up finding something very special in relation to pets. And I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> I'm actually really, really, really excited about this because pets are a big part of my life and they're a big part of my Sims lives too. And I just feel like they make the world feel so much more dynamic. We have had pets ever since the very first Sims game. So it is something that you kind of want to hope to expect. We've had pets since Sims 1, Pets Unleashed, all the way up to uh, like Sims 2, Sims 3, and now we're in Sims 4. We have pets in some regards with the fish, aliens, and the, um, I guess you could call, let's see, fish fish, aliens, the birds that you can bird watch don't count because you can't really catch them. The frogs, there we go. So fish, aliens, and frogs, but they're more static items. You don't really engage with them. They don't add that extra layer of animal companionship and communication that pets would. So no idea when we're getting pets, but if you think about it, last month we found out about the vampire code being hidden within the updates. This month we're finding out about the pet code being hidden within. So my guess would be it would come out probably the next fiscal quarter. So the way that a lot of companies work, in case you guys are confused and trying to figure out when you can try to expect big things from most companies like EA, is they go on fiscal quarters. A fiscal quarter, like I said, you can look up the exact dates and you'd probably want to check out the USA dates because they change from country to country, but they usually go for about three months. And I believe the beginning of April, the end of March and the beginning of April counts as the second fiscal quarter. And that is probably my guess on when pets would come out because that's also right before summer. And so we might be able to expect them then. Why do I think it's going to come out? Because of what Zerbu has put in here. So what is inside this code? This is on the simscommunity.info. I will link you guys to it so you can dig through it yourself. He's updating it whenever he finds anything. Who knows what next month's update is going to bring. I'm actually super excited about it because he might find something else within. But so far, it looks like we have cats, dogs, and small dogs as the different species that you can bump into. So it's listed as dog and cat with a small dog as a species extended, exactly like you could have in The Sims 3. Um, I think The Sims 2 probably had did it have small dog and big dog? I can't remember because it's been so long. I really need to go back and play The Sims 2 soon, too. 
And then you can see that he's found little tiny snippets of what could be animation pieces. Now remember, for a lot of coding, it's sticking things in, into the code and tearing them back out when they don't work. And sometimes these little bits and pieces that get left behind, these may not have been put in on purpose. They could have just been the fact that there are thousands and thousands of codes to keep track of and somebody forgot to remove it when they're testing these things. And so maybe we're still a year away from finding these, or maybe we're just one quarter away from being able to have a pets expansion or maybe they'll find that for some odd terrible reason it's just impossible to code but I think that idea is very remote because of how lucrative it could be to give us a pets expansion but just remember what you see here it may represent absolutely nothing but maybe some junk code of people doing some testing but it's just a great sign that they're actually even working on it and may give us hints of what to expect so as far as the pets go dog cat small dog that seems to be all that you can really find so far and that's going to emit a certain special species most of you guys really love such as horses so horses don't seem to be included into these little interactions whatsoever he did find horses uh, a little bit earlier as the jump on object state machine. So there is something here that does come down and it asks for labels dog, cat, horse, human, default being cat. And then it also has jump distance, jump height, and jump ratio. Again, you have to think about coding these things. You have to think about like how cats and dogs and small dogs would jump differently. How far would they go? What would it look like? It's not easy to do these kinds of things. That's why I switched from coding back to biology and nursing. <laughs> nursing was easier actually. So just remember it's probably going to be a while but I think these are some pretty fun hints. But again there's no mention of horses and that's probably going to disappoint a lot of people but when I looked through it and I looked at all of this and keep in mind you can check out the link for any updates that he may have and I'm really excited to see what will happen with every subsequent update we're going to have in case Zirbu finds any other hints of a pets expansion pack upcoming. But looking over these things and seeing cat, dog, small dog, it really made me think about what I would want to see in the pets expansion pack. And it made me sort of pause because I know, huh, do you get it? Pause. Huh? Because I know a lot of you guys are really desperately excited and eager to be able to see horses. But if you think about it, the worlds currently aren't really built for horses whatsoever. Um, the Sims 3 always had kind of a big open world field. There was always like the distant rural houses kind of on the edge of the town. And Sims 4, you don't really have that. One of the things that really separates The Sims 4 from the previous Sims games, or at least in particular from Sims 3, is the way where each and every one of the worlds feels more like a snippet or a slice of a world rather than the big, giant, open, expansive place that The Sims 3 had, which coincidentally also made The Sims 3 so much of a burden on a lot of people's computers. It was only until the computer I got last year that I could even play Sims 3, for instance. But I don't really think that this is a place that looks like horses belong. I would love to see horses. I think that would be really, really interesting. But the more I look at each of the worlds that are currently available to us in The Sims 4, the more I just can't see myself sticking horses in here. I can see dogs. I can see cats. I could see small dogs prancing and running around. But if we're honest with ourselves, I just don't see how horses could be very easily integrated into the overall picture. And that is something you have to think about. Things like vampires, things like butlers, you can kind of tuck those away and it doesn't really jarringly stand out too terribly. Even the ghosts kind of blend in, but I would be more shocked and surprised to see something like a, a horse wandering down, uh, say, maybe through San Myshuno or through Newcrest or Magnolia Promenade. I would be more surprised to see a horse wandering through there than I would be to see, you know, a zombie. And that's just something to think about. I do think it would be amazing to have horses, but when I look at what we already have and try to think about what could be added in, the way an expansion is expected to add in a lot more complicated gameplay, but also complement what you already have, I just don't know if horses are going to be something that they can put in here. I think it'd be amazing though. It would be really fun, but it did make me think, why do people want horses so badly compared to the other animals? Cats and dogs make a lot of sense to me because they're companion pets. They are traditional companion pets that have been with the human species for a very long time. And a lot of people have experience with cats and dogs. I've been very excited about the fact that they allowed you to catch frogs from the very beginning. I often have a lot of my 
my sim kids spend most of their time looking for frogs, as you guys know. We have the Ribbit Society. It's really fun to have. I really love the wide variety of fish and the fact that they continually add new fish, not only with um, new expansion packs, but with new updates. Every now and then you'll just suddenly get a new fish, and I think that's really exciting. And I do like the fact that you can get aliens, and I would love to see like just some more aliens added in now and then, and especially more things to do with the aliens, the fish, and the, um, the frogs. We can kind of breed some of them, but it would be really fun if there were just a few more interactions that you could engage with with them. But beyond that, I can't really think of too many animals that I would really love to see as companion pets other than reptiles and birds. Kind of everything from The Sims 3 that counted as minor pets. I really think that definitely for sure, actually, now that I think about it, we need to have the little guinea pigs, which I believe, oh, what did they call them? What did they call them in Sims 3? I can't believe I'm blanking on it. Um, it's not cavies. I'm so obsessed with guinea pigs that I can't remember the fake name they use for guinea pigs. Wombats. There we go. I would love to see the wombats come back in, uh, especially since there's been a little bit more focus on children lately. So I could have a lot of my Sims kids in the Green family, for instance, raise some wombats. That would be a really wonderful thing for them to do. And wombats in the Sims, mind you, happen to be uh, little tiny guinea pig-like creatures. You know, things like chinchillas or hamsters, all of the minor pets that we had from Sims 3, I think would be appropriate to some degree to add into The Sims 4. But then I've seen people request things as far-fetched as zebras and monkeys, and I really don't see a monkey being added in. Um, that would be really hard. I would love to see birds that you could have as pets added in, for sure. But I really would love to hear what you guys think about what you would want for pets. And think about it like in a far-fetched way, but also think about it in a reasonable way. I would love to hear both sides of things. Maybe bats as pets, since we're about to have bats added in as vampires. Then we already have pigeons wanting wandering around. So how much fun would it be to throw bird seed down and catch some of the pigeons? There's already mice that are just like effect objects, but how fun would it be if you could lay out a trap and catch a mouse in a lot that had the uh, the TLC need where you have mice popping out of the walls? I think all of those things would be really fun. And I just really feel like just like toddlers, pets would make this such a much more complete game, a much more engaging game. And it would allow my Sims to develop so much more personality because just like in real life, so often how we take care of our pets, the pets we choose to surround ourselves with, how we interact with nature, how we interact with uh, wildlife, or how we push them away, it all shows a lot of our own personality and our own personality development. So I would love to see that in my Sims too. But then I remembered something special when I was thinking through like what we could possibly expect for Sims 4 pets. And that is a survey that actually came out almost two years ago on what people would like to see in expansion packs. Now, this little snippet is about a year old, so pardon me, not two years. And this is another thing that I will link to on the simscommunity.info. It is actually from simstime.de, which is a German site. And this is an official survey that came out quite a while ago. I think I actually may have participated in the survey. Uh, it's been so long. That talked about pets. These surveys actually mentioned several different types of expansion packs, and pets was one of them. So when we're trying to address the question of, of what can we possibly expect in The Sims 4 pets and do so in a reasonable manner and not just a, I want monkeys, I want horses, I want giraffes. If I could have a giraffe, I would be a very happy person. Uh, but to see what we could expect in a more reasonable manner, here is what was actually in the official survey. Keep in mind, this was probably just concepts that they were tossing around to kind of uh, bait the area and see what attracted interest from their viewers and what attracted interest from the people who buy their games. So Sims 4 pets, Welcome cats, dogs, and horses into the lives of your Sims in The Sims 4. These new companions will bring your Sims new life experiences and activities and will delight your Sims with their affection and unpredictable pet behavior. The features, and again, these are not official. This is just from a survey that was released last year. The features would include adopt or create pets, which would allow you to adopt or create dogs, cats, and horses. Now, the horses kind of made me pause, but made, uh, made me pause. Sorry, that pun is just too hilarious to me today, but 
I think that that's another one of those things where you may have the concept, but when you start going through and trying to code and when you start going through and talking to you, like your public research people and when you try to talk to your quality research people and go and fit and ask if this fits in, I don't know if horses would fit into Sims 4 as it is right now. Just putting that out there. I know that in Sims 3, Appaloosa Plains have provided a place for the horses to fit in, but I just don't know about that in The Sims 4. So I want your guys' thoughts on that too. And it, not in an angry way. This isn't meant to provoke people and be like, I want horses or nothing. If we think about it, you guys, I honestly think The Sims 3 provided the most beautiful environment you could possibly have for horses because it was an open world. It feels weird to think about a horse that could only go to the edge of the neighborhood and then would have to leave and go to a new and load a new area and then get to run around some more. In The Sims 3, our horses could roam wherever they wanted because that was how the game was built. Sims 4 is built split up into neighborhoods. I could see the dogs and cats being fine. I could see the minor pets inside of there. Oh, I would love to have a big aviary for my birds to fly in instead of just a little cage. I could see that being a really wonderful thing. Um, I could see maybe like a tortoise walking in someone's backyard that grows over the generations. That would be amazing. So instead of saying one size, maybe the tortoise has a lifespan that is extremely long and it gets older and has to be inherited. You can assign who inherits your tortoise, for instance. But I just can't see horses fitting in to the scheme of the way the game is yet. Maybe I'll be super surprised. Maybe you guys will have some really great ideas that will change my mind on that. But those are just why I think we shouldn't get our hopes up at all for horses. And we should try to focus on some of the other fun things that you can do with dogs, cats, and hopefully other minor pets. So, the powerful Sims 4 Create a Pet feature will enable you to choose a specific breed or create one from scratch. Now, just a quick note, I think it would be a great way to pull in a ton of the community back to The Sims 4 or get them really excited about The Sims 4 if they released the Create a Pet feature before the expansion pack came out, just like they released the Create a Sim feature before The Sims 4 was out. That was a brilliant move. It got people really familiar with the game aspects and ready to play. I think it'd be really cool if they did that with Create a Pet too. Customize your pet's shapes, colors, and patterns from nose to tail. Build relationships with your Sims pets. Your Sims will build relationships with their loyal companions. Gain rewards for training your pets and build your social and fun needs more quickly with your pets. So typical normal stuff there. Sounds pretty awesome. What kind of rewards you get may be interesting. You had like the leader of the pack, I think, in Sims 3 when the dogs really, really loved you. And you do have like the best friends forever traits that you can have in the Sims 3 too. Oh, and I think the leader of the pack was Sims too. Um, but what I really want to see is more what the pets can do. That's great. Wonderful. Raising a relationship, boosting our fun need. Awesome. But what can the pets do? Observe the personalities of your Sims pets. Pets will show off their unique traits for your Sims. Discover if they are intelligent, brave, and friendly or clueless, fast and agile. Encourage good behavior and discipline bad behaviors. So again, the typical things that you can kind of see in the previous Sims pets uh, iterations. One of the things that kind of caught my eye though, especially with the toddlers update yesterday, Yesterday, it was fast and agile. Toddlers move at different speeds now. Speed, movements, and especially the vampires, if you remember the vampire pack, they can move at different speeds because of their vampire perks. So this catches my eye quite significantly because we've seen already two different examples of movement speeds being related to traits. The toddlers, when they have better movement, will stop wobbling and toddling around so much, which is adorable, by the way. And and will walk more normally like you would expect someone who's, you know, learning how to walk and they get better at it to do. The vampires, from what we have seen in the trailer, will actually have traits that you can uh, boost and they'll have like special vampire abilities you can unlock, one of which is being able to run at super speeds. So there's two examples of where you can actually train a sim in some way to be able to be faster. And when I look at that and think about training an animal, it makes me really hopeful that the reason you would train an animal to be faster and agile is possibly for agility courses, which is possibly for pet competitions, which is something I really want. I really, 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 really want those back from The Sims. Uh, the Sims 1, the original Sims. If you guys may remember, in the very original Sims, you could actually take your dogs to uh, dog show competitions, and you could have your cats go hunting, and they could earn trophies, and I thought that was the best thing ever. And it is something I have always missed. And I would love to see the ability to take your pets to social events, which is something 
something that is inside of The Sims 4 already, and to have them race against other dogs or have them participate in a dog show or have your cats try to earn some sort of hunting skill or have them go out and like scavenge around. Maybe they can start bringing back random things the way that your kids can dig through the trash and you could be surprised by the treasures your cats find for you. It doesn't have to be minor pets. It doesn't have to be just things they hunt or it could be like a pile of cockroaches or mice, both things that we already have in the game. I'm not sure if we have cockroaches actually now that I think about it. It could be trash. It could be random seeds. I would love if your cats could bring you back random things that they find. That would be really, really fun. But I would really love if those competitions came back and seeing something that says fast and agile and knowing that we do have the ability to train those movements, those that move speed in our Sims already in two different ways. Mm, that makes me excited and hopeful, really hopeful that we would have some fun competitions you could enter your dogs into and maybe your cats and they could win trophies and then those trophies, you know, you could just collect them. You could take pictures of your animals. That's what people do in the real world. They push themselves and their pets to do all of those things. And actually, I know a lot of people who have their bunnies go through agility courses. So I would love to see rabbits maybe go through agility courses too. All right. And then moving on, because I'm getting really excited now, explore a new world. Now, this one kind of makes me a little bit curious because it mentions a couple really exciting things. So your Sims can now live in a beautiful new world, which as we know in Sims 4 speak means a new neighborhood featuring new neighborhoods. Now that kind of caught me up there right now. So it's like neighborhoods. So I think they're just referring to something like the original Willow Creek layout where they consider that a world when to me it just feels like a giant neighborhood with little little streets in it. But I think they'd be referring to something like Willow Creek and pet friendly venues ride horses in the pasture. And this catches me because that would provide somewhere to take horses but when I think about how in a big development team like that you have people where you can have a really awesome idea and you can be like I know people will love this but then you are responsible for answering to the other half of your team who has to go but is it appropriate for what we've created is it appropriate to fit in does it help to expand the series or does it kind of become like an awkward extra limb that may may be kind of useful but looks really odd in other situations so just keep your head when I'm talking about horses because I, I maybe they'll surprise me and they'll come but I can see both sides of it where it would be so awesome and exciting and really expand the game but also where maybe it just wouldn't quite fit and it could actually be a little jarring for what has already been created and worked on for the last two years so or walk dogs down the street and this is another part that got me excited you can even collect fish and reptiles as you find them around the world oh we can already collect fish Woo! we can already do that that one's check mark Joing! I would love to collect even more fish and have more to do with them than just put them into the aquariums and leave them there I would love if they bred uh, like they did in the Sims 3 there's already a way to breed frogs in the Sims 4 I would love if you could breed aliens and I would love if you could have the fish maybe do something a little bit more than they already do like put them two of the same species in a tank come back in a week and you have maybe eight of the same species so just like what we used to do in Sims 3 I would love to see that come back again. And then reptiles. I would love to see reptiles. I would love if we had, like I said, that tortoise where you get it and you could put it in your backyard and it gets bigger as time goes on. I would love if you had uh, the snake and your sim could carry it around like a little necklace on their neck if they wanted to, which by the way, you should only do with certain snakes and you really shouldn't do that for too long in real life because maybe it'd be too cold for them. And also you don't want to like get casual with the boa constrictor that way. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. It would just be really fun to see a wider variety of what you can interact with but I really hope that we could have birds I really 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 want to see birds so we already have bird watching that's not enough Siri demands having some finches if if other people can demand horses and zebras and monkeys I would love to see more interactions with birds and not just in a teeny tiny little cage I have a really 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 rich sims I would love if you could assign a room to being like a bird age 
aviary or if you could build a large bird aviary kind of like a big gazebo but you could fill it with the birds that you catch i think that's much more fair to the birds i think that's a good representation of better animal welfare and better care of the animals um and i also think it'd be really fun to have a sim be able to walk in and you could maybe have two slots where seats latch in or a couch latches in think how romantic that could be if you had say a gazebo that only allowed maybe three or four slots so you could decide what items go in there and you could put a fountain in the center and two chairs out there and maybe a little in table where you can drink some lemonade while you look at all the birds flying around you i think that would be pretty amazing but i could see where that is beyond complicated and probably not something that i could ever reasonably expect i can dream though that that's one of my many dreams and then to wrap this up quickly because i didn't realize i would get this excited about talking about pets rumors and pets ideas play as pets wield control of your sims pets to chase dig tackle and find collectibles in the world send them wherever you want when you're in control spend the day on four legs instead of two well the last two sentences don't really surprise us because of course you control your sims that's something we've done for a very long time if you think about it though i guess we did not directly control our sims 2 pets i don't remember about sims 1 hmm i almost need to like go back and play it just to remember at this point but i do like the idea of finding collectibles the collectibles are a well-established things in the sim the sims 4 something very easy to expand on with updates. We've had a lot of new collectibles uh, show up. We've had additions to old collectibles. I really love that. I think it'd be fun to be able to send your pets out and they could just find random things because I adore that aspect of randomness. It really helps to develop a story. If you have a boring a boring cat, say, he's just very boring. You don't know what to do with him, but you could select like find collectible and just let him wander off. He could develop quite the story just by what he brings back and I think that's pretty cool. And then finally, new skills skills and pet careers. Teach your Sims pets skills like hunting, jumping, racing, and locating collectibles. Again, racing. Hello. Like that's really exciting between fast and agile and racing. I want to see competitions and trophies go along with that if that is something that may happen. And then finally, send your cats and dogs off to work to bring home extra Simulonians. That is also pretty interesting too. So there is a lot of hints in here. Again, this is just, just, just a survey. So so there's probably a lot of things that were axed. There's probably a lot of things that were added to, but it looks like all of the signs are starting to point like little weather vanes towards possibly getting pets. And I'm really hoping it's going to be a quarter two thing for all we know, because it could be a lot more complicated than I can possibly dream to code it because we're not talking about just one life stage like toddlers was with all of its gorgeous animations. We're talking about three, at least three different animal shapes and body sizes that have to all have their own unique animations for everything they interact with, for all of the sims they interact with, for interacting with each other, for each sim life stage, it's going to be hard to do this. It's going to be really difficult. I know just enough about coding to know that I would be very intimidated to face this, let alone with a list of other demands like an aviary, zebras, monkeys, reptiles, where are the birds, all of those other things that I'm sure a bunch of people within the team and a bunch of people who are outside of the team and have maybe the fiscal goal of making this a success or just the excited goal of being able to see so many of these things come to life in The Sims 4. All of those pressures, oh, I'm really glad that I just get to sit back and play it whenever it comes out. But I really am getting hyped and excited and I really want to know what you guys want to see in pets and I really want to know what you guys think like I said your daydream would be like mine would be an aviary and tortoises that grow bigger and have to be inherited for three generations or maybe parrots that have to be inherited for three generations that would be very cool and very reflective of how long they they live in real life but what are your guys dreams and then what are your guys reasonable expectations like the fact that I, I think on the edge of my reasonable expectations are hopefully having competition since there would be racing and different traits that we could put into our, our pets. And then on the far edge where I, I'm not going to expect it lies the aviary and the tortoise idea way over there where well, that's just a dream. So I would love to hear what you guys are, are hoping for. And we're going to keep our ears to the ground, you guys, because I really feel like it's a good sign that there are so many little snippets of the code that are showing up. And I'm really hoping that we're looking at quarter two release but don't quote me on that. This was all just for fun and all just to think about how much fun it is to be this excited about Sims 4 again. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.